The Santa Barbara Creeks Division is always looking for new ways to improve the water quality in our creeks. Their latest project, the Bonnet Park Stormwater Improvement Project, is a collaboration between the Parks and Recreation Department and the Creeks Division. So when we started our park de design and park development project, which is about three years ago, at the same time the Creeks Division was looking for opportunities to do stormwater treatment systems underground in the city and Bonnet Park was a perfect place for them to do the work. So as soon as we realized we were working on projects in the same location, we started coordinating and making sure that the timing of our projects could be synced so that we could do it at the same time. So the project that you guys can see a little bit behind us here is a stormwater treatment and park improvement project. So it's two things. Uh, the stormwater treatment is to treat urban runoff from about six acres of the west side neighborhood before this runoff enters Old Mission Creek, which is on our right. For the park improvement projects, we've been working for a couple of years on improving access into and around the park, so improving accessibility of the park. We just recently renovated the restroom there and also building new picnic areas. So one of the things that, uh, as we went through the, this project at the beginning, that was really uh, identified by the community as an important uh, component was the ability to reserve picnic space. It's hard to imagine now with this being a construction site, but these little picnic areas right along the creek here are uh, really quite popular and you'll have people putting up signs or laying down tape very early hours in order to reserve a space for their event. So to have a separate space that's going to be both ADA accessible as well as reservable through the city's website will allow for those must-have events to you know, have the peace of mind that that place is available and reserved for them um, while the sort of drop-in incidental picnic uses can continue. I don't practice Santa Maria. The park and sports field will also be renovated as part of the project. Because so much of the grassy area needs to be excavated, it's giving us the opportunity to actually improve that space as well. Um, so we'll actually have a level playing field, which is something that this park's lacked for a while. It's been slightly slanted toward the creek. Stormwater treatment infrastructure was installed under the brand new field, and it's designed to filter stormwater before it enters Old Mission Creek and eventually into the ocean. So behind us, you can see a large pit, and in that pit, uh, you can see some gravel. We're going to put what we call stormwater chambers in this pit, and those chambers are basically, they look like half pipes, and they will be half pipes that will be laid on top of the gravel right there. The water from two storm drains that comes off of the street and those drain right now directly into Old Mission Creek. We're going to intercept those storm drains and put in a diversion structure at each one of them. They will divert the water from the storm drain into this basin and into those half pipes. They'll fill those pipes up when it rains and then the water in the chambers will slowly infiltrate down into the ground and then they'll be, they'll be uh, empty and available for the next rain event. After installation, it won't take much to maintain, and the project will last decades. The project is designed to take about three to three and a half months to complete. It started in mid-October and, and was scheduled to end about the first week of January. We've had a few project delays, so it'll probably be a little later, maybe mid-January, before the project is completed. The maintenance is inside the chambers themselves. We hope that we don't get any dirt in there, but the diversion structures are designed to capture sediment and trash. And so we'll physically remove the trash out of there and then we get what are called vector trucks to come in and they actually suck out the, the fine, the dirt material from these diversion structures. And we're not sure on the frequency of that. We think maybe a couple times a rainy season we'll have to do that. But again, it remains to be seen. Most of these things we're trying to design for 50 years, hopefully, but we don't know. It depends on if we get a lot of fines, if a lot of dirt gets actually into the infiltration chamber and slows down the infiltration rate, 
then at that point, you know, it doesn't have the same capacity and it won't treat as much water. But we do have treat, pre-treatment vaults that we will maintain in order to remove that dirt prior to getting down into the filtration basin itself. We'll see how well this works and what kind of infiltration rate we get and how much storm can be treated. I mean, there's a possibility if the infiltration is very good that we can even treat larger rain events. Treating stormwater is important to Mission Creek and its ecosystem because clean water helps ensure the health of the animals that live there. A lot of people don't know that there are fish species that actually live in the creek, even in, in Mission Creek. There's a, an endangered species called the steelhead trout, and there are still are some of those uh, living in the upper watershed. So anything that we do to pollute that harms their environment. That's where they eat and live. And so if we put pollutants into the water, it makes it very hard for them to survive. And then eventually that water goes out into the ocean. And if it's not good water quality, it affects the organisms that live in the ocean. So the main thing we try to do is prevent that pollution from entering the creek channels and ultimately the ocean. Overall, the stormwater improvement project will help the environment and will come along with great park improvements that everyone can come and enjoy. A real win for the city of Santa Barbara and the residents on the west side.